Hello, I'm Sirener Sherebel Don Sarigumba, and today I'll be performing the intradermal, intramuscular, and subcutaneous injections. Now I'll be showing you the injection materials that I'll be needing. These are my injection materials. These are all my needles of different sizes, all my syringes of different sizes, my bandage, alcohol prep pad, and let's say that's a cotton ball. For intradermal, I can use the needle sizes 25 to 27. I don't have a number 27, but this is a number 25 and 26. I'll be using the number 20, this is a number 26 for my intradermal injection. For the deltoid intramuscular, I can use number 23 to 25, this is number 23, and this is, this purple one is number 25. For ventral wheel, I can use needle number 21 or 22. For SC, for subcutaneous, I can use number 25. And number 30, I don't have that, for insulin injections. Those are my needles. For intradermal, I can use a 1 ml syringe. This is 1 ml. And I can also use 1 ml for my subcutaneous and deltoid injections. I can also use 2 ml for subcutaneous and I can use, this is a 3 ml syringe, I can use 3 to 5 ml for intramuscular. For intradermal injection, I need to provide privacy to my client, perform hand hygiene, wear clean gloves or you may not, and then prepare the client, identify the client, hi Miss Aurora, how are you feeling today, explain the procedure to her, Miss Aurora, I will be performing an intradermal injection on you, position her, she can sit down for this injection. Um, and also ask her if she's right-handed so I can do it at her non-dominant hand. Uh, the left arm is for tuberculosis and the other allergy tests can be done on the right arm. I need to prepare my materials. I'll be using the number 26 needle size. And I'm going to use a 1ml syringe. And next I need to check, double check the right drug and the right dosage. I'm going to draw out the medication from an inverted vial. It's going to be 0.1 cc for an allergy test, and the rest will be distilled water, which will be 1 ml all in all. So now I need to identify the injection site, which is 2 to 3 finger widths below the anterocubital area. Some sources would say 3 to 4 finger widths, so the injection, intradermal injection, will be at the forearm. Next, I'll be using an alcohol prep pad to disinfect. Ms. Aurora's injection site in circular motion, inner to outer, and then I'll just be stretching out her skin. And now I'm ready to administer the drug, which will be done in a 5 to 10 degree. Some sources vary, 10 to 15 degrees. So I'll just uncap it. And inject with a bevel facing up at a 5 to 10 degree angle. And then instill it, and a, a, a wheel, which is called the bleb, should form. And I just need to discard the card, I mean, discard the, the syringe. But discard the uncapped needle, twist it out, and it's going to be uncapped and discard it in the sharp objects container. Next, I'm going to encircle the blab that formed and observe it for 24 to 48 hours. And lastly, I just, lastly, I need to do aftercare and document all relevant information about document the medication, the dose, time, date, route, drug reaction, and every other relevant nursing assessment. For a subcutaneous injection, I need to provide privacy to the hand hygiene, may or may not wear clean gloves, and identify my client, Ms. Aurora. Hello, Ms. Aurora, how are you feeling? Explain the procedure to her. I'll be giving you a sub-Q injection. She can be instruct her to be at a line position. And so next, I need to prepare my materials as well. I can use the 25 needle size. For sub-Q, I'll be needing a 1 ml syringe. I can draw it out from an inverted vial. Draw out one milliliter. I don't need to aspirate for this. 
I need to double check the right drug, right dose, time, date, and route, which will be at the subcutaneous. I need to locate the injection site, which is two inches away from the umbilical area at the abdomen. I need to disinfect using an alcohol swab, inner to outer in a circular motion. I need to use an injection site that hasn't been injected yet. So I can do it somewhere here at, um, at a 45 degree angle, but if the client has more adipose tissue, perhaps at a 90 degree angle. Pinch the injection site. And then jab at a 45 degree angle and still then release. Discard the uncapped needle at the sharp objects in. And then do after aftercare for the patient. Document all relevant nursing assessment information. For the intramuscular injection, I can inject at the deltoid or ventral gluteal. I need to provide privacy for my client, do hand hygiene. I may or may not wear clean gloves. I need to prepare my client, identify my client. Hi, Miss Aurora. I need to explain to her the procedure. So, Aurora, I'll be giving you a deltoid intramuscular injection. She can sit down for this, and I can inject at her non-dominant arm. Next, I need to locate the injection site where my first finger should be at the abdomen process and the loose border will be at the top of her axilla. I need to form a triangle around the top and the triangle area would be the injection site. I need to prepare my materials. I can use a 25 needle size for the upward eye injection. I can use a 3 to 5 ml syringe. I have to draw out the drug from a from an inverted vial. Draw out three milliliters and disinfect the site with an alcohol swab in a circular motion, inner to outer. And I also need to prepare the bandage or a cotton bulb at my third or fourth finger. I need to do a Z track lateral to the injection site that applying pressure for 10 seconds which would reduce sensory input of the injection. For IM, I don't need to do aspiration anymore. So now I just need to jab at a 90 degree angle like a dart. Like so. I need to aspirate and then I can remove and if I were at a convenient position I would immediately place the cotton swab on an arm or bandage. Find the needle properly at the sharp objects in. And that's it. Next, I'll be doing the ventral gluteal site. She can be at a lateral position. This is the injection site. I need to identify her and explain the procedure to her. I can place the heel of my palm at the greater at the greater trochanter with greater trochanter with the thumb pointing at her groin and at the index finger pointing at the anterior superior iliac spine and the middle finger pointing at the buttocks for the iliac crest and I can prepare the cotton swab at my third or fourth finger the V shape that's the injection site I need to prepare my other materials as well I can again use 3 to 5 ml syringe and for the ventral wheel site I'll be using a number 22 needle size. I can also use a number 21. So next I just need to draw out the medication from an inverted file and do the Z track. Z track and then jab at the 90 degree angle by the part. Something like this. Let's do it. And do it. Bandage. And then discard the needle properly at the sharp objects bin document both the deltoid and ventral site for the right job dose time date root which is intramuscular and every other nursing assessment and as always I would do aftercare for the client that's all